Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the presentation. Today, I'm going to talk about WebGL, 3 tiles, and I2JS, pushing the boundaries of infrastructure 3 visualization. My name is Daniel Iborra. I'm from Barcelona, and it's a pleasure to be here presenting this topic to all of you. Welcome. Uh, first of all, I work for Bentley Systems. Uh, Bentley Systems is a, is a company that uh, builds engineering software uh, focused on providing solutions for designing, building, and operating large construction assets. Our software is used by, uh, for various infrastructure types like uh, road maps, railways, industrial plants, buildings, power plants, etc. Et uh, we also offer digital twin solutions uh, that uh, leverage AI to monitor, manage, manage, and optimize infrastructure assets. And, um, I'm the tech lead of the iTunes graphics team. I'm going to talk about the iTunes platform later. Uh, but we are in charge of uh, of the graphics of of that platform, of course. Um, um, I've I've I have like twenty five years of experience. My my career is mostly on graphics. Uh, half of my career was on video games, and the other half was on on digital twins. And um, let's start talking about a digital twin. Just a quick introduction. A uh, digital twin, when you have physical physical asset, the digital twin is the digital representation of it. So imagine that you want to uh, build a, a, ro a road, hi highway, a, a bridge. Um, you take all the drawings, documents, all the information that you have, scans, cameras, uh, sensors, etc. cetera. Uh, you take all that information and with that, you create a digital twin in the cloud. So uh, everyone can access to the same information at the same time the information is federated so you can visualize it but also you can consult the uh, for the animations to know when it's going to be constructed uh, when and by whom uh, you can do ai analytics etc etc so this digital twin helps uh, building and maintaining uh, the physical asset uh, because uh, because a digital twin <laughs> stays uh, in the cloud, uh, you need a WebGL. Be aware if you want to visualize it in the browser, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sure all of you are familiar with WebGL. Um, so the uh, iTunes viewer is the viewer that uh, that it's kind of a window to the digital twin of, of the iTunes platform. Uh, it's based on a library called iTunes JS. And here, this you can see the screenshot of an example of the viewer with uh, different controls. I'm I'm going to do a demo later, so so I can get into more detail. Um, so one of the most interesting things and challenging are how big the digital twins projects are. So uh, there is something that I call Godzilla I models. Those I models are three projects. Uh, so I call them Godzilla because you know they are so big that basically they come and destroy uh, all your infrastructure and crashes the browser. Um, just for you to get an idea of how big they are, uh, uh, we found one one of the examples that has fifteen hundred million primitives. Primitives can be uh, a triangle or a point or a line. So imagine imagine if you try to visualize that in the browser, it basically it's impossible. So uh, the challenge is how can we, you know, visualize those models in WebGL? So three tiles to the rescue. Um, we are leveraging season three tiles. Uh, for those who are not familiar, the three tiles is a format that takes a three data, takes a three project, and it allows you to cut it in different pieces with different LODs. So you take that piece and then subdivide it on and on and on. And then, so the, as as the camera moves, you just go loading the different uh, levels of detail. Uh, all the 3D information is based on GLDF, which is another standard for, uh, from Kronos. So, so basically, um, if if your viewer supports 3D tiles, you can uh, render uh, render uh, models uh, compatible with our technology. Uh, I think that uh, one of the Maybe the secret sauce of what we are doing at iTwin is that we are able to take those huge projects, calculate the LODs very, very fast, uh, optimize that uh, that project and those three tiles uh, to be able to visualize those Godzilla models in the browser uh, at you know uh, like 30, uh, 60 frames per second in a normal machine, and uh, tile loading is very fast. 
Another another advantage of using three tiles is because it's open source. That means that once you generate the three tiles, you can visualize in different media. You can visualize in CGIS, uh, in the in the browser, but also you can use three GIS and and you can visualize uh, it in in game engines like uh, Unreal, Unity, Omniverse, or or 3D. Um, uh, for those of the, who know, don't know it, uh, Belly uh, recently acquired Cesium, who will continue uh, maintaining it, uh, the Cesium as, as open source. But one of, of, of the of the cool things of, of that uh, that uh, acquisition is that we will be able to make our platform better, but also contribute to the open source community with uh, with our uh, the new the new features that we release. Uh, demo time. Let let's so let me let me you know an image uh, a renderer is worth a million words or something like that. So uh, let me let me show uh, the, the iModel viewer and let me explain a little bit in action how the viewer works. So as I move around, I don't know if you see because it's quite fast. What we are doing is refining. I, I don't know if you see it because it's pretty fast, but basically what we are doing here is that as I move around, the different LODs are being are being uh, loaded and rendered. This is pretty fast uh, because we use CDN and we use you know other techniques, but uh, we are able to you know visualize uh, all, like uh, many buildings with uh, with many. With many details, we can just go to the, let's see if I can visualize this. Yes. So for example, you can see all the different details of the plane uh, because those are quite high, high quality designs and is used for engineering projects. Uh, we support uh, less than one millimeter resolution. So um, that, that means that all, all the details we we have to be able to load them. That's why a technology like three tiles is so useful for us because we can just go the detail as uh, we move around. Um, and we are not also when you see those models. Sometimes we focus on the exterior, but we are also. Let's see if I can get closer. But uh, we are also talking about uh, like. Uh, uh, inside all the you know all the all the interior of, of the buildings the subsurface information etc cetera, etc cetera. so um yes i'm not an expert but you can see you know all the all the details not only you know not only over the surface but also under under it so that um um this is this is the only way that I think that uh, you can uh, be able to render those huge huge AI models. I, I remember when uh, WGL appeared, 2011. Uh, if somebody had told me that we will be able to visualize um, not only thousands of uh, tens of thousands of triangles like uh, the first demos of WGL, but you know uh, hundreds of millions of triangles, I will say, hey, you know, it's that's that's impossible. But you know, after a few years with these technologies, you you see that. To see how uh, how far you can you can get. Um, thank you, thank you very much. Uh, my name is Daniel Iborra. If you have any questions, please just connect to me uh, through uh, through LinkedIn, for example. Look for look for me and and uh, and let's uh, let's be in touch. Uh, thank you very much and see you soon.